Hello everybody, this is Dr. Mustafa Sheikh back again with another video from The Dentalist. In the previous video, we talked about the classification of dental caries, specifically the DV Blacks classification. We will continue this video with uh, the classification of dental caries, but from a different perspective. You need to understand the importance of classification first. It will help you in improving your diagnosis and improving your prognosis of the treatment also. From that point of view, we will give you a brief overview on another type of classification of dental caries. So let's begin. Now if you talk about GB Black's classification, it's basically the classification that helps us classify dental caries from the location point of view. Let's talk about another way of classifying dental caries. It's basically classification according to progression of dental caries. The dental caries progresses in three ways and thus so it's classified into three types acute caries chronic caries and arrested caries so these three types of caries are classified according to what progression okay so when we want to classify dental caries according to how it's progressing we will do it in three types acute caries chronic caries and arrested caries what recurrence would mean is uh, you clean the caries and you put the filling on it can the caries come back yes it can come back there's another aspect of classifying dental caries now it's on the basis of recurrence which is initial caries or recurring caries two types moving on another way of looking at caries is the extent of caries how deeply has the tooth been affected by caries the extent of caries so it also has three types Incipient caries, which also means initial caries, in which there's not that much caries involvement on the tooth. Incipient, okay? And then there's occult caries. There's a shallow cavitation, but not that deep. Okay, not that deep. So it's called occult caries. And then there's another type, which is called as cavitation, in which a proper deep cavities formed due to dental caries. So according to extent of dental caries, there are three types. Which ones? Incipient, occult, and the third one is cavitation. So by now we have discussed three classifications. Classification according to progression, classification on the basis of recurrence, and classification according to the extent. Also, there's another type of classification on the basis of spread of caries whether the caries is forward caries or the caries is backward caries. We'll discuss all these uh, types of caries in detail in the upcoming sections, okay? So stick with us. And uh, let's just quickly summarize what we did in this video. Now what we've done is we've done types of classification of dental caries, okay? The first one we did was GB Black and also comes under anatomical type of classification. But if you look at anatomical type of classification, it does not only have GB black. You can also have uh, different, different locations at which carious lesion can affect and turn that into the types of anatomical classification like Pitts and Fishers, occlusal, incisal, cervical. All these are anatomic landmarks and these can be types of what? Of caries on the basis of anatomical classification. Okay, so the first type of classification that is different from GB Black is the anatomical classification according to the anatomical landmarks. Second type is on the basis of progression acute, chronic, and arrested. Then we have uh, caries on the basis of recurrence whether it's initial caries or as a recurring caries. Then we have caries classified according to the extent, incipient, occult, and cavitation. And then lastly, we have it classified according to the spread of caries, forward caries, backward caries. On the basis of anatomy classification, you should know what smooth surface caries is, you should know what root caries is, and you should basically know what occlusal caries is. Smooth surface caries is basically the proximal caries, the caries that 
affects the smooth surfaces of the teeth. And it, you know, smooth surface caries does not only mean the proximal surface, it also means the buccal and lingual surfaces. The surfaces which are smooth to be touched. Occlusal is not a smooth surface, but buccal, proximal, lingual are smooth surface. So if the caries affects these areas of the tooth, it would be called as smooth surface caries. Then we have root caries. If the carious lesion is present on the root, it would be called as root caries. Now to talk in detail for the classification according to progression of dental caries, the first one is acute caries. Acute caries is basically the type of caries which is rapidly progressing and involves more and more teeth. So if you see the involvement of most of the teeth and it's, it's an aggressive kind of clinical situation, you would refer it as acute caries, okay? And also when you take history and you find out that these carious lesions have started affecting the teeth in a very short period of time, more teeth in a short period of time, that would be called as acute caries. And in, uh, on the other hand, we have chronic caries. Chronic caries would be what? It would be slow progressing, less teeth affected in more time. That would be chronic caries. And now you will be clearly able to differentiate um, between acute and chronic on the basis of pain. And tell me, you tell me, would a patient have pain if they have acute caries? Yes, they would, because the caries lesions are rapidly progressing. They're not giving tooth time to repair. So they're quickly damaging the teeth and thus they would result in pain. And that is not necessarily the case with chronic caries. What happens in chronic caries is the caries is progressing but at a very slower rate. So as the caries progresses, there is also the repair mechanism of the tooth going on, the secondary dentin formation. Therefore, the tooth does not let the damage affected because it has a repair mechanism going on. Get the concept? That's why in most chronic caries cases, the clinical sign of pain is mostly missing. Then there's the third type, which is called as arrested caries. As the name indicates, arrested caries is the type of caries which does not seem to be progressing. It gets stuck, it gets stationary, it gets static. That This is the type of uh, caries which can be friendly with the two. We can also leave it under the fillings at times, at times, depend. So arrested caries is the caries that is not progressing at all. It is arrested at a uh, specific area. And you find that out by differentiating it on the basis of the colors. Acute caries would be rather uh, yellowish or brown in color and soft in consistency, okay? When you remove it, it will be easily removed, acute caries. Uh, same case with chronic, but it would be rather a darker brown color and would be a little bit hard to remove. And uh, if we talk about arrested caries, it will be black in color. And it would be close to impossible to excavate, to remove it with the excavator. You will have to, if you want to remove it, you will have to use the handpiece, okay? But arrested caries will not be able to be excavated. This is uh, a clinical um, way of diagnosing or differentiating between arrested and acute or chronic caries. So we've discussed in detail about the classification of dental caries on the basis of its progression. Now, as I've taught you the first two types of the dental caries, anatomic type, and then the classification according to the progression, I want you to come up with the rest of the classifications uh, in the comment section below. The one who does it gets a good surprise from us. So let's quickly see what we've left in there for you to complete. We have done classification according to the anatomic landmarks and we've done classification according to the progression. We're left with classification according to the extent, which includes what? Incipient, occult and cavitation. So I want someone to cover that in the comment section. It's simple, that's why I'm leaving it for you, okay? It's not that hard. And then I want someone to cover the spread of caries, the forward or backward ones. And the last one is according to the recurrence, whether it's initial caries or it's, it's recurring caries. So let's get involved in the comment section now and uh, I'll be reading all your comments myself. I'll be waiting for 
the one who will be the winner of the giveaways this time. Thank you for giving your time to us on The Dentalist and make sure you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you again next week. This is Dr. Sheikh saying goodbye to you. Take care till we meet again.